Robin Thicke is one of the hundreds of thousands who have been impacted by the three devastating wildfires ravaging the state of California. The Blurred Lines crooner recently returned to the Malibu home he shared with girlfriend April Love Geary, only to discover that it had been reduced to char debris. It's funny, you see movies, and you'd think there would be one doll left over, or a book of course, something. But it's just rubble, Thick said during an interview with Entertainment Tonight. There's nothing left. Get push notifications with news, features, and more. Follow following you'll get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notifications. More than just his home, Thick, 41, mourns the neighborhood that was destroyed by the flames. It's a great community, it's a community of wonderful people, a lot of parents whose kids go to the same school as my kid. It's just devastating. The remains of the home shared by Robin Thicke and April Love Geary. The remains of the home shared by Robin Thicke and April Love Geary. Even so, the star insists that he and Geary, who is pregnant with the couple's second child together, will return to the site and rebuild. Our home didn't make it, you know, sometimes it happens, he says. We love this area, we love the people here, we love this neighborhood. Luckily, some of the property is still intact. On Saturday, 23-year-old Geary shared on her Instagram story that the home had burned down. Our house is gone, she wrote alongside an image that appeared to show the gate of their home amongst the charred debris. Thick had previously shared an image of dark smoke clouds filling up the sky near where the couple lived, writing, Our home is just to the left. Praying. The singer went on to post a note on behalf of himself, Geary, their daughter Mia Love and son Julian Fuego, thanking all of the courageous firefighters and volunteers for their help. As we drove to safety, they risked their lives trying to save our home, he wrote. We are safe and surrounded by friends and family. We thank you for all the love and support we've received, and we send our love and prayers to everyone as one affected by the fires. Count your blessings. At least 44 people have died since three wildfires broke out in California, with the campfire taking dozens of lives in Northern California, making it the deadliest blaze in the state's history, reports say. The campfire broke out on Thursday, killing at least 42 people and burning through 117,000 acres by Monday, according to the New York Times and Cal Fire. The fire has left several homes and other structures destroyed and was only 30% contained by Monday. As of Sunday night, 228 people remained missing. Butte County Sheriff Corey Hania said, according to the Associated Press. With that, friends and relatives are accompanied authorities to search for their loved ones in the rubble of paradise, the AP reported. On Sunday, Hania announced that the death toll stood at 29. However, in a Monday update, Hania revealed that 10 more bodies had been found in Paradise and three had been discovered in nearby Conco. Miles away, the Woolsey fire burned outside Los Angeles after first sparking on Thursday and doubling in size overnight. 
the Wednesday fire has killed two people, injured three and burned through more than 90,000 acres, according to Cal Fire. It was 30% contained by Monday. Meanwhile, the Hill Fire ruined more than 4,500 acres in Ventura County and was 85% contained by Monday. Thousands have been ordered to evacuate since the massive blazes broke our last week, leaving many fleeing for their lives from the fast-moving flames. The campfire has caused the most damage and the most deaths as it's left medical staff to evacuate patients from hospitals and families to leave everything behind for the sake of their lives. Although thousands of firefighters are working to contain the blazes, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration warns that strong offshore winds and low humidity will promote conditions highly favorable for a continued spread of the fires.